Hello, I'm Jay Tyler's boneheaded cousin. Get it? Bonehead. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I just came from the dentist. I'm still a little numb yet. I guess that makes me a numb skull. <laughs> In this week's video, Jay's going to make a labial bow using a common pair of hardware pliers. If you like these videos, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! <laughs>Okay, we probably had a little too much fun there with that, but uh, it's Halloween time, so what the heck. I'm going to bend a labial bow now using this pair of slip joint pliers. You can buy these at any hardware store. And uh, there's absolutely no practical value in this video. <laughs> Just doing it for the fun of it. Uh, actually, accepting a challenge I made one time, uh, saying a good wire bender should be able to make a labial bow using any pair of pliers. So I'm going to test that notion. Let's start off with my usual bend with my fingers. Mark it in the center of the cuspid. Okay, so far so good. That's pretty easy to do. A little sharper bend than I like. I'd like to bend it around a bit of a rounded beak, but I don't have it on this. So now making the bow, I'm just going to grab it and just kind of just try to manhandle it into a U-shape. It's kind of scuffing it up a bit. Like I say, no practical value in this video. I guess if you were on a deserted island and all you had was a pair of hardware pliers and a wire and you just had to make a labial bow, <laughs> can't imagine what that situation would be, but anyway, that might be useful. Short of that, no use. Okay. Okay. Let's go across the occlusal. That's pretty good. And I think I'm going to make uh, just a uh, little little round bend here as best I can. And then I'm just going to bend this since I don't have cutters. I'm going to just Bend it back and forth until it breaks. Oh, well, this isn't a high tensile strength cobalt alloy wire. It's just a standard retainer wire. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty good across the labial. Going to bend it with my finger a little bit. Get a little closer adaptation to the teeth. Okay. Yep, let's mark it there. And we'll go down. And around. This is where I need that spooky music. Or all that giggling and going on. Okay. Ooh, my loops. My loops are way out of whack. I've got one short and one long. Let me just see if I can correct that with these. Boy, is that chewed up. But it did shorten it. Okay, that's going to be pretty good. Go across here and down. Let's 
make an acre bend, anchor bend, and let's break it, crimp it. <laughs> All right, good enough to prove my point. I could wax it into place from here. So, I guess you can bend a labial bow using any kind of plier. Well, pair of pliers. Um, I don't know, if you used a great big giant one, <laughs> it probably wouldn't work. But, uh, so here we just had some fun. Like I said, no practical value here. And uh, next week we will do something that you can actually, uh, that will actually be useful. So I hope you had fun with me. Uh, happy Halloween, everybody. I will see you next week.